بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا الكريم وآله وصحبه ومن اتبعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد اسمي أم توبة my name is Um Tauba for those of you who never heard of me or have never heard of my husband Abu Tauba we are a family of students who have tried to share the little bit that we've learned over the last few years alhamdulillah with whoever is willing to listen and understand and uh, and allow us to try and help each person's understanding and each person's situation the lie that we've come across but alhamdulillah last year my husband was arrested for those of you that do know during Ramadan during the last 10 days of Ramadan as he got up for Fajr and left out to bring my co-wife to the doctor there came a knock at our door and once he was gone and myself and my daughter were in the front room and the knock sounded very loud and frightening so I sent my child away from the door and when I answered it they said it was the FBI and when I told them that I I'm a Muslim and I need to put some clothes on they told me that if I didn't open the door they would bust it down and there I was having a seizure out of fear because I also have a heart problem, heart condition outside in front of several agents who had guns pulled out and my children were in the house and I'm standing outside shivering with nothing but my nightgown for all my neighbors to see And my son, who has autism, sleeping in the front room. And they didn't care. And I told them I had babies in the house and they wouldn't allow me to go back in to get the children. And they told me that they would have to search the house first. But everyone knew my husband wasn't there. So why the guns? If you've been surveillancing us for years why come in knowing that there's no one there but me and my children causing me to have a seizure causing my autistic son to urinate on himself five times five times within a few hours coming in my children's room with guns pointed it's a very frightening scenario for any of us and my son has gotten worse since that situation and my other son's arm is partially paralyzed and I'm a mother now alone dealing with nine children And my co-wife and her three children and all of us living in the same home together because we cannot afford rent. And I've tried to maintain classes over this time in order for us to be able to maintain rent and in order to keep in good taste with what my husband had started. And Jazakum Allahu Khairan for 
all of you who have supported us through different ways trying to get funds for us for all of you who have supported us in a way to try to give me advice on what doctors I could bring my children to or who have made dua for us these things are great helps to us every time we get them and sometimes we sit here and we we cry and make two sessions when we could make the rent or when someone is able to help us just to get our children's shoes and there may be some of you who have told me to make my daughters just get a job at a Walmart or get a job at a food store or a chain store which it would which is sacrifice and let them wear the pants with the tucked in shirt with the tucked in hijab but it, this is definitely one of the things that my husband and I have been teaching for us to be afraid to do because we understand that Allah is the provider and if it's not from you then it will be from someone else and the only thing that's going to come from us come to us from Allah is whatever it is that Allah wants to give us but then I still want to say Jazakum Allahu Khairan because those who say that only have good intentions there's a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he says in this hadith إِنَّ الْمُؤْمِنَ لِلْمُؤْمِنِي كِالْبُنْيَانِ يَشِدُّ بَعْضُهُ بَعْضًا In this hadith, a lot of us have heard before. He says that the believers, or the ones that have iman, the ones that have faith, they're like parts of a building. They're like a building. Okay. They're like a building. And they. You should do is to push something hard. So they're. Pushing each other hard to stand up. Keep the building standing. Like you would see a bricks in the building. Of a foundation of a building. Pushing each other. They're tightly packed. And I think that some of you really have been doing it. And I'm only asking that you continue or that you ask someone to help. Because I can do nothing but ask. I ask Allah. And I ask you. And I know it's been a long time. And I know that you're spending a lot of resources. But nothing but good could come out of it. There's not much that I can do for you except for keep trying to teach. Even with sometimes two students or five students or one student. Jazakumallahu khaira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Ladheena yunfiquna amwalahum bil-layli wal-nahari. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين ينفقون أموالهم بالليل والنهار سرا وعلانية فلهم أجرهم فلهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون Those who spend in charity from their goods or the things that Allah has supplied them by night and by day and in secret and in public they have their reward with Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Al-Baqarah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فيضاعفه له أضعافا كثيرا والله يقبض ويبسط وإليه ترجعون Who of you will grant Allah a loan, a loan, then Allah will repay him many times over. It's Allah who makes people rich or he holds back and makes them poor. And to Allah you shall return, to him he sh- you shall return. It's also in Surah Al-Baqarah. And again I'm asking. If there's a lawyer out there. That knows of my husband's case. Or someone that knows a lawyer. That knows of my husband's case. I would ask if you could. Just take a look into his case. And see what what should he do. I mean. They've pushed back his case so many times. These people are accusing him of terrorism for saying things such as you should read the Quran before you die. That is their evidence. That you should make Ummah in your lifetime. Umrah. Or you should make Hajj. That you should make Hijrah. These things are evidences that they've put into his case against him again jazakumallahu khairan anyone who wants to send something to help us pay the rent or to help my co-wife because I I can't even work anymore I had just recently broken my back if I sound kind of funny I just recently fell down and broke my back so my co-wife is doing a lot of work to help the children out please check out the website thefix.org T-H-E-F-I-K-S dot O-R-G and inshallah if you're willing if you're able to help us out please get in touch with the number that Brother McKean put up there Mr. McKean put up there Jazakum Allahu Khairan Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik